Hello my dear Photoshop magicians, how's life? In this tutorial we're going to take this beautiful image and add some magical colors to it like this. Just look at this, isn't that beautiful? And in addition of that we're also going to add some sparkles to her hair. Just some, you know, nice touch. And let me just remind you that these are series of color grading edits where I show you how I usually color grade the images that I find online. And before we start, let me just remind you that on my website, learnfromfraud.com, you can not only learn Photoshop, but also learn how to create over 60 premium projects along the way. Not only artworks, but also beautiful animations. Right now you can access all of the classes and premium projects for just $9. It's a 50% discount, so go to learnfromfred.com so you don't miss this offer. Let's get started. So first of all, just like always, you can find the download link for all the images that I use in the description. It's important to always credit the photographer. So this image is by Jessica Felicio. It's a beautiful image and that's why I thought you should know. And uh, let me just import our image in Photoshop and uh, boom. So now in order to color grade, I always use camera raw filter as the first step. So let's go to filter and use camera raw filter. And here I will show you step by step everything that I do to the image, basically to change its colors. And for that, let me just load a saved preset that I already have. And by the way, you will also find the download link for the preset in the description as well. So I'm, I'm just gonna go here and uh, load settings and I will just load the preset that I have. It's called Fairytale01. So, boom. Let me show you what actually happened here. As you can see, the image has changed. This was before, this is after. And let me show you step by step that everything that I did here. Uh, first of all, on the basic step, um, as you can see, I didn't touch temperature or tint. I left it as it was, but I went to contrast. And this is usually the first thing that I do. Uh, the contrast is usually on zero. But I always go and reduce the contrast to minus 100 because when we do that, it's usually easier to edit the colors. Because when the contrast is too high, as you can see, the colors are too dark and they get destroyed and so on. So that's why it's usually best to make the contrast lower so you can edit the colors. Next step after I do that is usually to go to the haze. And uh, in case your Photoshop is too old, you will not have the haze here. So that's why I would advise you to update it. But you should have it if it's like at least two, three years old. And uh, let's just decrease, increase the haze. The haze helps us to, you know, pop the colors. As you can see, this was before the haze, and also pretty beautiful, but not exactly what we want. And uh, I put the haze to maximum, and as you can see right now, the colors are popping, and everything looks pretty vibrant. Just to show you, if I make the haze also minus 100, as you can see, it gets pretty blurry and almost like a smoke effect. Next, we go here to highlight shadows, white, and blacks. Here, you basically can play with different lightings and shadows. So for example, highlights, as you can see, if I make them too much, it's getting bright or I can make them a little bit lower. So I decided to make them not, not too much. Then shadows, I always increase the shadows because for example, if you look here, as you can see, when we have uh, lower shadows, uh, it's too dark. We don't see the details in the beautiful hair, but I want to see all the beautiful details in the hair. And that's why, for example, if I just increase the Shadows, boom! Now it's so much better. Now we can see all the small details there. And then we have whites, and um, this is basically, as you can see, mainly it affects the face and the edges of the image. If I increase the whites, the image, uh, the face looks much better. We get here this nice shiny effect, which is also going to add to our magic edit. And obviously the blacks just to change the black colors to make them brighter or darker. I, I have it on minus 30. And next we have texture, also one of the most important things here. And uh, basically, if I increase texture to 100, as you can see, it gets very detailed and very sharp. And that's not what I want, especially for a magic edit. Because usually when we talk, when we think about magic, like a fairy tale magic, it's something soft, you know? So that's why I decrease the texture to make it really, really soft. And uh, if you just zoom in, just to see before and after, as you can see, this is when we have maximum details. And this is when we have it very, very soft. So it all depends on your own taste. Vibrance, you can play here with vibrance as well to maybe increase it a bit. I increase the vibrance a little bit just to make the face a little bit more vibrant. So next I go to here to color mixer and to hue. This is an amazing tool. It helps us to completely change the colors. For example, let me show you what I mean. First of all, we can see that we have here reds, oranges, yellows and so on. So for every color basically. And we can actually adjust the tone of every color depending on what we want. So for example, if I look at reds, I can make the reds go orange, as you can see, look at the edges. Or I can make the reds go 
very very pink and this is obviously too much and it's also affecting the face especially these places here the cheeks so what I will do is I will add a little bit of red to make the cheeks really nice and pinky. And uh, then we have here yellows, we can also play. And yellows are not really affecting that much as we can see. That's because we don't have too, ma too many yellow colors here. It's mainly affecting this area. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do it like this. And then I also change the blues. The reason why I change the blues is not affecting too much. It's mainly affecting this part of the hair. And as you can see, if I make it minus 100, it looks cyan and it's not matching the rest of the hair. So that's why I just made it uh, pinky so it matches the hair more. Next step is to go to color grading. So here we can basically adjust the mid-tones, shadows and highlights. We can change the tone of the color. Let's start with mid-tones. This is going to affect most of the image. And um, so for example, if I just try changing, as you can see, it's very dramatic changes. And I made it a little bit bluish. That, this is how it was and this is what I did basically a little bit more blue colors and um, very important when you do that to make sure that it's not completely blue because as you can see right now here we have also these pink nice colors and then I have here shadows also as you can see I made the shadows a little bit more pinky so if I turn this off before after before after definitely adding to our magical look and then highlights I made them a little bit more yellow greenish and before after so because as you can see this is also nice but I wanted to make it a little bit less saturated and less pinky because there's too much pink so I added a little bit of yellow and greenish colors. So now when we are done with this let's just click OK. Wow already looks pretty nice but we are not done yet obviously. Just to remind you this is how it looks and this is what we got so far. So, so now let's go to um, color balance here and just choose color balance adjustment layer. And here I want to go from mid-tones to highlights. That's what I want to change. And in order to make it more magical, I want to add a little bit of cyan. And uh, I'm just gonna go from reds to cyan. And uh, let's go minus, minus, yeah, this is, this looks nice. And I will mainly look at the edges of the image because I think I like the middle part, but I, maybe I want to change a little bit the edges. So I'm gonna go, uh, this is nice. Magenta, maybe let's try. We can always just play, go to the right and left to see which one we like more. Um, yep, and the yellow, no, I wanna make it more magical. And uh, yes, this is nice. So now as you can see, it's too blue and uh, I don't want it to be that blue, you know? I like the colors, but I don't want it to affect the whole image. So that's why I will select the masks that we have here on color balance. And uh, I will go to gradient tool. I will select um, radial gradient, as you can see the second option. And here you need to make sure that you have here black and white gradient. So if I click here, go to basics, you'll have here black and white. So just select it, boom. Make sure you have here reverse selected, okay? So basically when you, when you have reverse selected, first you have black colors and white. If you don't have reverse, then first you have white colors and black. Obviously once you reverse it, now first you're gonna have black and white. So that's why it's called reverse. And what I will do is I will make sure I'm on the mask and I will just click here from the middle and drag to the edges. And when this happens, look what we did. So if you look here, we have a mask where we have black in the middle, which means the color balance layer is not affecting the face. And in case you don't know what is masks, then I would highly advise you to go and learn about masks and then come back to this tutorial. So right now what we did here is basically, if I turn off and turn on this, as you can see, it's affecting mainly the edges. I want to, uh, I wanted to, affect even less the face so i will go again to the mask and this time i will do even a longer gradient so a little bit more and uh, actually no before i think i liked it before undo yeah this is this is nice boom this looks really nice and now we have you know some vibrant uh, pinky face with pinky hair and the bluish borders which makes it look truly magical and the last step on our journey is to is to add this beautiful nice uh, glitters on the hair and the way we're going to do it is actually very very interesting. I'm going to import this image um, which I also found on Unsplash. It is an image by Federico Bottos and uh, very nice image. Thank you Federico. So I will just take it and uh, import this into Photoshop. Put it like this somewhere on the hair and let's click OK. So uh, now the thing is that if I go to normal and start blending this with the hair, as you can see it's blending with the hair. But um, the problem here is that these glitters are just gray, they're not colorful. And I want it to be a little bit, you know, colorful. 
So what I will do actually is uh, there's a secret trick how you can quickly turn a gray image into a colorful one. And uh, let's go to filter, stylize, oops, uh, sorry, other, and let's go to HSP, HSL. So this is a very cool thing, just look at this. And uh, depending on what you choose here, which input mode and which raw order, you're going to get different colors. So for example, if I go with RGB and HSL, just as an example, let's click OK. As you can see, it looks completely different now. And uh, we have here this, um, as you can see, I can turn it off and turn it on. And, but I want to change it. I'm going to go just double click here on HSP, HSL. And this time I will choose HSL and HSP. So just do it, boom. And this is the color that I want. As you can see now it's greenish and pinky. So now it's colorful, but not exactly what I want. So what I will do is I want to change the blending mode of this HSP, HSL effect. I will go here and if I just double click here, as you can see, we get here this blending options panel and we can actually blend different filters with the images in different ways. So here I'm gonna go from normal mode to um, lighten. Yeah, I think lighten should work. Let's click OK. To lighter color, yeah. So for example, if we go normal, as you can see, it's a little bit ugly, but the lighter color, it's, uh, it's nice. So now, for example, if you look before and after, before, after. We got here nice greenish and also nice a little bit of pinky violet colors. And now if I just go here and change the blending mode to, um, let's say, vivid light. Uh, we can, you can also experiment with other ones, but I think vivid light looks the best. And uh, what we have to do next is very simple. Uh, just go here, create a mask. Boom, click create mask. Invert this mask and uh, you can use Ctrl or Command plus I to invert the mask or uh, you can just Click, select the mask, go to properties panel, and here you have invert, just click, boom, now it's inverted. And now I can select brush tool, white color, and now wherever I draw with brush tool and white color, I'm just gonna increase the size, make sure you have hardness zero. You can also do the same from here, hardness zero, increase the size. Wherever I'm gonna draw with it, I will actually add glitters to every place that I draw with it. Boom, how cool is this? Again, this is happening because we have a ma mask, it's black and if I draw white, I will show the effect, obviously. So that's, that's how masks work, you know. You should know that by now, if you're watching this tutorial. <laughs> so now it all depends on your taste, like how much glitter you want to do and so on. Uh, just uh, probably doing too much is not good. So I will go and select uh, back the black color, you know, increase the size a bit and uh, try to get rid of a bit of the effect on the edges. I don't want to make the edges that rough. It needs to be very soft, you know. Boom, 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 boom. And voila. Wow. Now, we are done with this color grading plus glitters, but I want to show you one more thing. So now, in case, you know, you are lazy and don't want to create the glitter thing on your own. I have actually created a glitter pattern, which is very easy to use. You just go to pattern, where is it? pattern. You go to import patterns and uh, where, let's see, where is it? Here, glitter pattern, boom, boom. And if I open it, boom, here we have our glitter pattern. Let's click OK. And now, for example, if um, I just need to change the blending mode to vivid light and uh, let me, you know, Invert this, Ctrl or Command plus I. And uh, for example, if I want to color her jacket here, I can just select it quickly, boom, boom, boom. I just go to the pattern with my white brush, boom. How beautiful is that? Or for example, you know, you have a cactus and uh, you want to make it for some reason glitter-like, voila. Oh, we have here this beautiful woman and for some reason you want to make her cry in glitters and boom, you can just draw the cry, the tears, the cry. Maybe make her lips glitterish. Voila, this easy to use pattern will be accessible to learnfromfred.com website members. So if you want them, just go to the website and download your pattern. Anyway, guys, I hope this was useful for you. I'm almost out of my whiskey. I'm kidding. Of course I'm kidding. It's, you think I'm drinking whiskey? Come on, it's vodka. <laughs> okay, it's, it's just water. So anyway, 
Love you guys. Make sure to subscribe and uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.